So I spotted this on the side of the road, pretty rough, and I thought, hey, I can use a clock for my shop. Maybe I can make this thing work, keep it out of the landfill. Looked like there was a pretty bad rupture on the battery, the potassium carbonate. It pretty much epoxied the battery into the battery bay, so had to dig it out with a screwdriver. Once I got it out, tried to clean things up a little bit. The rest of it looks pretty good. Looks like it would clean up pretty well, and the face is actually glass, which is nice. But once you pull that off, unfortunately, there's not much can be done for... Uh, the face of the thing, it's, it's warped pretty bad, so that's going to have to be replaced. But before I spend any time on it, I want to make sure this thing works. I put a fresh battery in, looks like a functional clock mechanism. So if I'm going to replace the face, got to pull the hands off of it and measure it up. And if we're going to paint the hands, I'm going to have to make a hanger for them. So I'm just going to use a little piece of wire tie for the second hand. And for the hour and minute hands, I'm just going to use a couple of nails as a bridge. And I'll just lay them across those. And for paint, I've got some paint left over from an old fuel tank restoration project of an old favorite. I'll just go ahead and put a quick coat of paint on these. And while those are drying, start making our face. I started with the Scubamoto logo, put a circle around it, gave it some crosshairs. And I just printed it out on a very basic office printer so I could cut it out with a pair of scissors. I just cut all the way around the perimeter. Once we're done cutting out the new face, then you can just put it upside down on top of the clock. Press from behind. That'll give us an easily identifiable center where we need to punch a hole. Of course, we need to know the size of the hole. So it looks like we'll use this one. So we're gonna take that, rotate it, all the way to the outside, put a paper towel on the block of wood, lay it face down on top. I'll position the punch exactly on our new mark and squeeze the handle closed and hit it with a rubber mallet. And now we've got a good hole right in the center. Looks like that matched up real well. Looks like the hands are dry so we can put those on and I'll put them at nine o'clock. That way we know they line up. Make sure they don't interfere with each other. Now we can snap it back together. Looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and put the battery back in. And it looks like we kept this one out of the landfill. If you like this video, please do give a thumbs up and subscribe for future videos. And if you know anybody else trying to make one of these, please do share this video. Thanks for watching.